Welcome to our deep dive into the Dubai Green Spine. If you're curious about innovative urban transformations and solutions to modern city challenges, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll explore how Dubai is turning a concrete jungle into the world's greenest highway. Stick around to discover how this project will make Dubai more livable, sustainable and beautiful. We'll also show you some other incredible urban projects that are in the pipeline for Dubai at the end. Before we dig into the details of the Dubai Green Spine, make sure to subscribe for the latest updates on innovative urban developments and mega projects worldwide. In 1980, Sheikh Zayed Road was built to connect the main parts of Dubai, but it came with a cost. It turned the city into more of a concrete jungle and killed the commute for pedestrians and cyclists. Now, some 40 years later, Dubai has come up with a solution. They are planning the world's greenest highway in the most literal sense. They have named it Dubai Green Spine. As we were saying, Sheikh Zahid Road connected Dubai, but it made the city less livable and far from human-centric. Now, adding to the problem was a persistent issue in this desert city, the extreme heat. You see, Dubai is surrounded by sand and filled with cement and asphalt. In the summer, temperatures exceed 40 degrees Celsius. That's over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and rarely dip below 30 degrees for the rest of the year. So, what happened? People stopped coming out. They began driving around the city in their AC-equipped vehicles. But then came the Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan. Its aim is to map out a plan for sustainable urban development in Dubai. They wanted to make this city more human-centred, especially now that the population is expected to nearly double to 8 million within the next two decades. The big question was, what if the temperature skyrockets even more by then? Would that make the city completely unlivable? They simply could not afford that. This is why they decided to build the Dubai Green Spine. This is not just any highway transformation. We are talking about turning a 64 km stretch of Sheikh Mohammed bin Zahid Road into the world's longest, greenest highway. The new highway won't just be functional, it will be incredibly beautiful. There will be an autonomous solar powered tram running below, and a network of green areas, parks and overpasses above. It is a plan designed to lure people out of their AC cocoons and get them walking. With all key points in the city within a 20 minute stroll, you can forget about those hour long drives just to grab some groceries or visit a park. The highway will also be a marvel in terms of technology. Smart technology like Internet of Things sensors will manage traffic and optimize energy use. And then there will be 300 megawatt solar panels embedded in the tracks. This setup will power the tram line, sure, but it will also generate clean energy for over 130,000 nearby homes. And let's not forget the greenery. This project includes planting 1 million trees along the highway. That's right, 1 million trees. These green spaces, which will include parks and community gardens, will keep the temperature below what is now average. It will cool the city and improve air quality as well. This amazing design comes from UAE-based Herb, a developer known for creating net-zero sustainable cities. There's also something for cyclists. A dedicated path will provide a sustainable and affordable travel option for those who either can't afford a car or simply prefer to pedal. Beyond that, the plan includes a series of elevated and ground level pathways full of greenery and multifunctional public spaces. These will offer safe and attractive routes for both commuting and leisure. Of course, this is not without its challenges. Creating the world's greenest highway in a desert city like Dubai is not a piece of cake. For starters, Dubai is a hot, sprawling city with rapid growth. 
Imagine trying to grow a lush garden in a place where summer temperatures hit 40 degrees Celsius regularly. Plus, Dubai's water consumption is through the roof. Residents use about 550 litres per person every day. That's nearly double what people use in the US. Most of this water goes to agriculture and landscaping. Take the Dubai Miracle Garden for example. This park, with its 150 million flowers, uses 757,000 litres of water daily just to stay pretty. So, how on earth do you add more green spaces without turning the city into a water-guzzling nightmare? But then the Dubai 2040 Urban Master Plan was introduced. They proposed to create smart, sustainable landscaping. They decided to go with native plants and drought-resistant flora that are better suited for the desert climate. These plants need way less water to stay fresh and thrive. They have also decided to mix the soil with zeolite, which is an absorbent crystal that helps retain water. Think of it as giving the soil power to hold on to moisture longer, so you don't have to water it as often. After this, they are also planning to introduce smart irrigation technology. And no, it's not like any sprinkler system. It uses real-time data to adjust watering schedules based on soil moisture levels, weather forecasts, and what each plant needs. So, the garden will know exactly when and how much to water itself. No more overwatering or wasting precious resources. This will be a natural smart thermostat, but for your garden. The garden gets just the right amount of water, no more, no less. So, while it is not easy to turn a concrete jungle into a green paradise, Dubai's planners are tackling these challenges head on with some pretty cool solutions. And who knows, maybe one day the Dubai green spine will be the envy of desert cities everywhere. We all know that people come to Dubai for a unique experience. They are drawn by the towering skyscrapers, luxurious malls and vibrant nightlife. But during the day, the extreme heat makes it almost impossible to enjoy outdoor activities. Everyone stays inside their air-conditioned bubbles and the city feels less like a community and more like a collection of isolated individuals. The Dubai Green Spine project aims to change that. It will transport the public spaces around the highway, making the city more inviting and community focused. The lush parks and shaded walkways will definitely encourage people to come out and enjoy the day, not just the night. There will be buildings with public amenities like shops, cultural centres, recreational spots and education facilities. These places will offer something for everyone and will make it a hub for daily activities. Playgrounds will provide safe spaces for kids to play, while sports facilities will keep everyone active and healthy. The project will also include allotments, for those who love gardening and want to grow their own plants. This green space will offer a cool, refreshing environment, perfect for meeting friends and neighbours. After this project was introduced, people started to quickly compare it to another linear project in the Middle East, the Line. The iconic line project is some 2,000 kilometers away in Saudi Arabia and is one of the mega projects under NEOM. If you'd like to learn more about NEOM or the line, check out these videos I made after this. I'll leave the links below. The line was originally going to be a 170 kilometer long horizontal skyscraper. After the introduction of this linear futuristic city, Critics have ripped this idea apart, saying it is a disaster waiting to happen. A study by Rafael Preto Curiel even argues that the line's design will make transportation and daily life nearly impossible, leading to long commutes and cramped living conditions as the whole place is just one straight line. Due to financial struggles and a slew of project cancellations, Neom has already had to scale back the line to just 2.4 kilometers, which raises serious doubts about its feasibility. 
Although, recent news hints that the Mini Line will also include one of the stadiums to be used for the 2034 World Cup in Saudi Arabia. The stadium will be 350 metres above ground level and only accessible via high-speed lifts and driverless vehicles. Time will only tell if the line will ever be finished. On the other side of the Middle East, the Dubai Green Spine is full of practicality and sustainability. It is designed to make Dubai more livable and community focused. Instead of a flashy skyscraper in the desert, the Green Spine turns a busy highway into a green oasis. Lush parks, shaded walkways and one million trees, it is set to transform the cityscape. Add to that the autonomous solar powered trams and smart traffic systems and you get a project that is not only visionary but also achievable, which is not the case with the line. Dubai is looking to extend its status of the city of the future with some jaw-dropping projects. Other than the green spine, Herb has more amazing ideas in the process. First up is the Dubai Mangroves project. This ambitious plan aims to install 100 million new mangroves across 40 miles of UAE's coastline. If it goes ahead, it will be the world's largest coastal regeneration project. It would be wonderful to witness as this project will transform barren coastlines into thriving ecosystems that not only enhance biodiversity, but also protect against coastal erosion and improve air quality. Then there is the Loop. It will be a 93km indoor cycling superhighway that will wind through the city, making cycling a viable year-round option. It will be designed to help residents go car free. This superhighway would encourage a healthier lifestyle and reduce traffic congestion, making the city more livable. Both projects, like the Green Spine, are still in the conceptual phase. However, Herb's founder, Barahash Bagarain, is confident that turning these designs into reality is not as tough as it looks. According to him, the magic lies in seamlessly integrating existing technologies and materials in innovative ways to address multiple needs. The next step is to get public sector support to provide the necessary regulatory framework and infrastructure. Bagarain is optimistic, as these projects align with Dubai's 2040 Urban Master Plan. What other changes do you think Dubai should make to its landscape to make it more human-centric? Share your opinions in the comments below. And before you go, make sure to like, share and subscribe for more updates. See you in the next one.